in the kitchen sink. She goes, son, we need a room in the freezer for the broccoli, the Brussels sprouts, and the spinach. Something had to go. And I counted to ten. I said, okay, I only got two more weeks of this. In the meantime, I was asked to see a dietitian. I didn't want to go see the dietitian because I don't believe in dietitians. I, 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 don't, I don't believe there's anything they're going to tell me that's going to help me. But my mother made me go see the dietitian. So I walked into the office, and there was this, this woman at a table, and uh, she was a rather large woman. Um, I would say close to 450 pounds of woman. And I said, excuse me, <coughs> Uh, I'm here to see the dietitian, and I'm thinking she's the secretary or something. She goes, uh, I'm the dietitian. And I start laughing. I said, oh, that's good. Oh, that's funny. Oh, yeah, oh, that's funny. She goes, uh, I don't get it. What's so funny? Oh, oh, nothing. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay, so you're going to help me, uh, you know, because I, 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 at that time I needed to lose around 55 to 70 pounds. Um, and she said, yes, I'm going to put you on my program. I said, may I ask a question? She goes, yes, yeah, sure. Are, are you on that program? <laughs> she goes, well, what does that have to do with anything? I said, I'm just curious <laughs> what program you're following. She goes, oh, my program is the best. I've been following my program for over 15 years. I said, this is 15, 15 years. <laughs> So they gave me a diet plan that I tried to follow, but it didn't work. I kept getting fatter. I was taking that insulin four shots a day, and uh, I, I wasn't getting any better. And um, I would talk to my doctor, and he would say, Dwayne, you got to just keep taking, uh, keep following the program, and so forth and so on. My mother decided that um, I'm going to be eating Brussels sprouts for, for breakfast. And I said, you must be crazy. And my mother just stood there. Okay, Mom, all right. Because it was easier just to give in than to listen to my mother complain. And so I ate the Brussels sprouts. Funny thing happened. For the first time, my post-meal blood glucose level actually went down. Now, my, my average glucose level at that time when I got out of the hospital was still in the 400s. But, of course, 400 is still a lot better than 1,300. And uh, for them to try to get it below 200, they were going to go to the fifth insulin shot, but I didn't want to go to five shots. And um, so I called my doctor and I said, uh, yeah, doc, you're not going to believe this, but my blood glucose level actually came down 75 points post-meal compared with my previous readings. And he said, well, 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 well Dwayne, that's an anomaly. Until we give you more medication, there's nothing that you can do that's going to lower your blood glucose level. I said, then why am I following your program? Well, Dwayne, that's going to prevent you from having another attack. And I said, oh, oh, okay. So after I talked to him, my mother asked me, what did the doctor say? Well, I didn't want to tell my mother that the doctor disagreed with her. Because then I'm caught in the middle. So I didn't say anything. I decided I'm going to keep eating these Brussels sprouts until my blood glucose level goes back up. Number one, it'll shut up my mother. And number two, I'll have something to tell the doctor. So I ate Brussels sprouts for breakfast, for lunch, for dinner, for seven straight days. And each day, my average post meal.